The time has come. Cowboy Bebop, the Netflix live action re-adaptation, whatever you want to call it. And I'm about to watch episode one uh, called Cowboy Gospel. So yeah, a little bit of a title change from the anime series, which is welcome. So yeah, really looking forward to this, guys. It's really been kind of building up this anticipation inside me to watch this just because I've been re-watching the anime and man. That is is just masterclass in anything. It's just great television. It's just great storytelling. It's just great character work. Cowboy Bebop will always be a classic, and there is no argument there. So like many others probably out there, I'm setting my expectations kind of low, just because I don't want to be disappointed. But that's probably not a really great approach at life. You should probably have high expectations for most things, but if you're like me, who doesn't like getting their heart broken by things, Set them a little bit low. Wow, that sounded really depressing. Sorry if that came off sounding like the saddest thing you've ever heard. That's not how it's supposed to sound. I'm just saying for shows like this and remakes, I like to set my expectations low just because, you know, like I just said. So anyways, let's just go ahead and watch this. I'm excited and um, hopefully I'll find some way to edit around it so that Netflix doesn't take me down. We'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Okay, sorry just a little bit more housekeeping if you guys are here and you are new to the channel and you guys enjoyed This video remember to like it and to comment down below if you want to what you thought about the video and what you thought about the episode overall Please let me know. I really love engaging with the comments down below when I get a chance. So please please go on ahead Also, if you are new to the channel, please remember to subscribe That would be awesome, and I would really appreciate it. So let's get on with the video Mood lighting. <laughs> Good start so far. Shitbag corporations. <laughs> I love this countdown. Who do you work for? Amazon. Oh, for the love of freaking God! Who's covering the elevators? <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> I came here to place a bet. <laughs> Am I sold? Ah, too early to tell, but this looks pretty great. <laughs> That's a little silly. I'm I like the camera movements for this. God, the music. Wow, the music. Spike, you're supposed to wait for my signal. It's funny when you show up. Ah. He sounds just like Jet. <laughs> it's pretty great. I'm enjoying it so far. Come on, Spike. We have to take them alive. I think Jet's perfect. <laughs> I think he's nailing it. Ah. Was oh, she like 80? <laughs> I mean, she looks like she's led a very full, rich life, haven't you, ma'am? Spike! I mean, you got kids, right? You ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> I like how she was like, yeah, I'm good. I'm ready to go. We're all gonna be sensible, right? Right, Spike? Yo, Mustafa Shakir, doing a great job. <laughs> No. Uh -oh. This is kind of cool, man. <laughs> it's like Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy, a little bit. Shouldn't they be like suffocating right now? Ow! I can feel that. I love the colors. Colors. I said that weird. I love the colors of this and I love the wide angle lenses that they're using for these shots. It's. 
don't know, it's nice. Who are you? Just a humble bounty hunter, man. You know what? It's I'm going to talk through the intro because I've seen this intro before. Um, but it looks like the in uh, <laughs> words, words, buddy. Can you can you can you say words today? So I feel, I feel like the intro is using a lot from Cowboy Bebop the movie and then blending it with some some episodes or some of the earlier episodes of the animated series, the anime. <laughs> so it looks like they're blending those two things. I hope they kind of carry that throughout the series uh, as we go forward, kind of reinterpreting things and adding new story elements just to make it a little more interesting so that's not exactly the same as the anime but so far i'm i'm digging it <laughs> i'm digging it john Cho. so far i'm like partially sold on his take on spike and jet i am completely sold like immediately i was like that's spike right there so yeah let's go i can't wait to see Faye <laughs> and i of course How are you guys feeling so far? Feeling good? So this is exactly how the first episode starts of the anime, so... I hope, uh, hope it's not exactly the same. That looks perfect. <laughs> that looks so good. I couldn't have imagined it done any better. Yeah. I'm so hungry. <laughs> ah, cool. The title cards look pretty much the same. That's cool. Little details like that keep that the same. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Also, John Cho's hair, it's growing on me literally but also in the show it's working i'm i'm into it Are you sure this is the place it's like antonio banderas and desperados this is looking a lot like the first episodes um almost too much Ugh. He's having a little bit of a Tuco moment from Breaking Bad. Oh. A little bit of a Hardcore Henry moment. They're being very generous with the amount of Dutch angles they're using. I, I, uh, I feel like I'm watching the first Thor. <laughs> Stylistically, maybe that's just Christopher Yost's uh, way to uh, compose a shot. But Dutch angles, I'm just like, they're a hit or miss for me. I love that mug. It just says, I drink coffee. Straight to the point. Fire, but your ex wife asked me to throw your bone every now and again, so. Well, you were throwing her your own bone, I bet. Ex wife? So I think they're changing some things with Jet's character. Or. Uh, I. Re John Cho's like 50 years old, guys. I mean, I think he still looks great. See the look on his face, though? <laughs> he didn't look pretty shocked. He was shocked, <laughs> and then he was dead. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I got the last time I was on TJ? Herpes? <laughs> Stabbed. <laughs> By an achuro. <laughs> My daughter's turning eight. And I can't afford to buy her a present. He's got a daughter? We're gonna go after the bounties I say we go after. He really wants that doll. I'm sorry. I didn't know Jet had a daughter. Is this new? I just rewatched like half the the anime. Just to get a refresher. This must be new. This must be new. Or I'm wrong. And I, I still got it. Yeah. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. And then all the comments saying, you're wrong. Can't wait. <laughs> it's like... 90s Johnny Depp and Winona Ryder. That's what they look like. I'm loving the banter between these two guys, okay? They're just they're just two bounty hunters doing their thing. 
I love it. I love it. It reminds me of the chemistry they had in the anime. I think they're nailing it so far. Some problems and issues, but I'll talk about that at the end. But the music. Ah. I see shit since Earth. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of eye horror in this episode. I'm not liking it. Right before you, mm-hmm. someone else came in asking after him. Who? Young bird. Purple hair. Ooh. Okay, so they're introducing some characters differently. I assume they're talking about Faye. I assume. You're pregnant. It's bad for your health, I hear. Pregnant. Hey, forgive this for coming on. Hey, it's Bumblebee. Wow. Those are some real pretty words there, cowboy. Does that shit work on all the girls? Yeah, you can kindly fuck off. It's nothing personal, but your mark's coming with me. Look, I don't know what you're trying to pull, but I was here first. Hmm. All right, it's different. This is an interesting change. Okay, let's see where this goes. They're making Faye a lot more uh, competent. <laughs> this means that Ed could show up earlier than he does in the show, or the original show. Interesting. Finally. Hey, this uh, is the same. Accommodations. You don't want my daughter to have a birthday? This isn't gonna get us paid. He's really scared of his daughter. <laughs> More scared of his daughter than the syndicate. Man, these Dutch angles need to like chill. <laughs> it's it's a lot. You're gonna kill your way to Mars? You I like that they kept uh, Spike's nicotine addiction. <laughs> I'm not encouraging nicotine use, I'm just... That's just like a characteristic of Spike I always thought was like, cool in the show. You know what I mean? It's not cool to smoke. Uh. But it's cool when he does it. No, not Bumblebee! Ah. Killed Bumblebee. Okay. Cool. I thought for a split second they were gonna change it to her actually being pregnant. I was like, but they still stuck with that one. So that's good. Whew. Jesus. Because of all the changes they're making, I just can't predict what they're gonna change next. So. <laughs> You're going John Wick on their ass, which is funny because Keanu Reeves was. Supposed to play uh, Spike a long time ago, or at least people wanted him to play Spike a long time ago when they were trying to make this show or movie. Oh no, he's gonna miss his daughter's birthday. Psych. The space stuff looks pretty pretty incredible on a Netflix budget. Not not that Netflix is poor or anything, but my God, looks really good. Asimov ain't going shit. He's... He's dead. At least he's not an asshole like in the anime. Well, he's kind of an asshole, but, you know, at least he cares for her. He's a lot more of a junkie in the anime. You will be fired upon. <laughs> I don't know why this is m- making him remember sex, but... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> She's not going to Mars either. No one's going to Mars. Damn, they lit her up. Jesus. I was like Bonnie and Clyde. Oh, I get it. It's clicked now. Okay, I get it. Okay. We're gonna meet Vicious. A lot earlier than we did in the... Well, not that much earlier, actually. Right? I kind of hate that. 
cliche when the bad guy has to kill one of his henchmen to prove that he's a bad guy. Like, I already get he's bad. He looks like if Dumbledore and Severus Snape had, like, a baby. I get it. Dude looks evil. Say no more. Is she alive? Ew. Ew. Gross. Is this what Spike sees when he's having flashbacks? These two having sex? <laughs> That's gross. He looks like he's 30 years older than her. So, um, quick thoughts on the episode so, so far. I don't know what you guys are feeling right now, and if you are far enough into this video as of yet, please leave a comment down below right now what you think about the episode so far. Give me your thoughts and feelings. I want I, I want to hear it. I really want to hear it. So yeah, all right. I'll just I'll just spill open. I guess they are taking some liberties with this remake, which I told myself <laughs> that they should. I was afraid that they were going to stay pretty close to the anime and just make it live action, like episode by episode. But you know, it's 26 episodes versus a 10 episode season that they're doing for the live action. So there's a lot of condensing that they have to do. So because of that, I'm noticing some plot lines like being shoved into this episode. Uh, things that would happen in like, I think episode two is where we're introduced to Faye or two or three at the casino. So that is being introduced into this episode where it's taking place at the casino, but then also involving the opener to the Cowboy Bebop, the movie. And then we're introduced to Faye where in the first episode we were introduced to just Jet and Spike. So am I confusing you just by saying that? Anyways, the episode does it a lot better. I think they are introducing Faye maybe a little bit too early for my for my liking because they're trying to endear us to this character that just kind of comes out of nowhere towards the end and I feel like it would be better if we had her more at the beginning of the second episode. I think that would be I don't know, less distracting, because she didn't really need to be in this episode, really. But I think that Daniela Pineda is doing a fine job. I think she is kind of evoking Faye in a really unique way. Faye isn't necessarily a badass character. She's kind of someone who just survives and gets very lucky and takes advantage of the situation for herself. This version of her character seems a lot more capable, like she can handle her own and she seems to be someone who can stand almost toe-to-toe -to, -toe to Spike, which is something that I'm like, maybe I'll, I'll just need a warm-up to that, just because I'm literally hopping from the anime over to this, so I'm just like, whoa, it's it's a little bit jarring. Faye in the anime had a lot of street smarts, and that's kind of where her strengths were. Spike is an excellent fighter, just excellent in combat in general, and Jet is kind of the tactician. He's the one who strategizes and plans everything. So those are kind of all of their character traits, and in this one, it seems like they're staying close to that, but there are some liberties that they're taking, especially with Faye's character, and I think they were just trying to revamp her character to make her more appealing to a modern audience. But the thing is, I'm watching, or I'm re-watching the anime, and yeah, it seems like Faye would be perfectly fine, as is, uh, in live action if they just kept the same character traits. But I'm not, I'm only speaking based on the first episode, but turning her into a bounty hunter is a really interesting choice. Uh, instead of someone who just owes a debt and is just trying to scrape by and try to steal people's money, I think that was something that made her a lot more interesting, kind of a wild card in, in the crew. And I don't know, I, I think this is a different take. It still seems like she is sort of the same character. She eventually does become a bounty hunter with the boys, but she just kind of unwillingly becomes part of the team, which in this one she does too, but in, under different circumstances. So yeah, interesting change. Uh, Jet, like I said, and like I voiced through the entire episode, I think it's spot on. I, I really like Mustafa Shakir as Jet. The only thing that I'm like, huh? was the fact that he had a daughter, or maybe that plot point was introduced later in the anime, but I've only watched the anime three times actually, so that's actually a lot. I first watched it when it was on Adult Swim, and I think I was like probably like 13, and then I watched it again when I was like 18 or 19, and now I'm like in my late 20s, so I'm re-watching it for the third time now, so it's been a long time since I last watched it. But yeah, I've re-watched it a, a lot of times, where even now I'm like, is that like, is that in the show? Because I'm only halfway through re-watching it for the third time. So I'm like, eh, did he have a daughter? 
Like, did he have an ex-wife? I know he had an ex, but an ex-wife? I'm like, are these new things that they're trying to introduce to make Jet more interesting? Interesting choice. I'm going to see how it plays out. It is the only first episode, so I'm not going to judge it too hard. I am going to watch the rest of the series because right now I'm sort of hooked because I'm more interested by the changes they're going to make rather than the show itself. If I was coming as a new fan, I feel like this first episode wouldn't be like something that would lock me in. But someone who is or someone who has the context of the anime to watch the show, I think it's better to experience it that way. But who knows? Maybe a fresh set of eyes would have a completely different opinion than me and be like, this show's great, this is interesting. It's it's a lot of world building that they're trying to do in the first episode without throwing exposition at you. And I think that's pretty impressive that they're not handholding the audience. So good on Cowboy Bebop for just diving straight in. Just like the anime does, you kind of discover the world as you watch the show. It doesn't say like, this is blah blah blah, and Mars is a planet that people can grow up and live on and uh, have a childhood on. It's not like that. It's just like saying, hey, like there's spaceships flying around, uh, there's people traveling to different planets. There's enough there to be like, okay, this takes place in the future. This is the future where everything has been integrated, and for some reason, everybody loves jazz, and I am completely fine with that. I am glad that there is a future where people appreciate and love jazz. Mwah. I am just more curious to see how these things play out, the changes that they made to the original. I, I am curious to see why they're introducing Faye so early. I know that they want to get the main cast in there, but then that makes me think, you know, is Ed going to be introduced earlier? Is Ayn going to be introduced earlier? I know that a lot of these characters got their own episodes dedicated to introducing these characters. So instead of that, I think they're just going to shoehorn them in to certain episodes where they're going to condense probably like three episodes worth of plot into one episode. Um, so yeah, does that make any sense to you guys? Three episodes of the anime into one episode of the live action is what I'm trying to say. Also, the amount of Dutch angles in this episode is, it's, it's, it's like too much. I know it's a stylistic choice, but for me, I'm like, oh, we're over here now. Oh, no, 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 we're over here now. No, 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 we're back here. It's like, ugh. And I don't know if that's just me, but I have a really big problem with Dutch angles. If it's not used appropriately or if it's used too much, it gets really distracting. That's that's just me, though. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of that. Did it not bother you? Probably didn't bother you, but if it did, please, please prove to me that I'm not crazy. Also, yeah, Asimov and the... <laughs> I always forget the girl's name. I just rewatched it, but uh, girl, girl in the episode. I'm not both of them. Um, not not the strongest actors, but they looked almost identical to the anime characters. So I'm not gonna knock them there, and they're not really that deep of characters in the anime, anyways. Although the ending of the first episode does end in the same way, it does hit a lot harder in the anime. I just think that they do it a lot more subtly, and there's just a lot more build and silence in the episode. And the anime, that just creates a lot more of a bittersweet ending, where you're just like, sad that these despicable people <laughs> died. This one, I didn't feel so much. This one just felt like a Rush, Bonnie and Clyde story. And because of that, it just, I don't know. I feel like I've seen it done better. But again, I don't want to commit the crime of comparing this continuously to the original anime. I need to treat this as its own thing, but it's very hard. When you see something done better and you see something that's trying to remake it and they're doing it um, not as good, you, you have to say something, right? As far as the space effects go, really great. I think the visual effects in this episode look really good. I think the colors look really amazing in this episode. Along with that, the spaceship designs and just the world itself looks really vibrant. I really love the settings. I love the set design. It was pretty incredible. When it comes to Netflix and their set design, I think they do a really good job. If you guys haven't caught another one of their flicks uh, on Netflix, The Harder They Fall? Am I getting that name right? Yes. I recently watched that and the sets in that movie and the colors in that movie and the performances overall, it's, it's, mwah, it's beautiful. I mean, this basically feels like The Harder They Fall in space. It's, it's literally a western. So, yeah, a uh, great movie, by the way. H highly recommend it. The only thing that Netflix, I think I have a gripe with, and this goes for both The Harder They Fall and this show uh, so far, is the costume design. While looking really good and while looking really, I mean, in this case, very accurate, they are a little too polished and clean. I feel like it's at points seems kind of like a stage play where all the costumes are so crisp and there's no weathering or anything like that. That was one of the problems I had with The Heart of the Fall, but in that movie it felt more like a stylistic choice. 
In this one, it's kind of like tonally, I feel like they're trying to figure it out in the first episode. And I feel like tonally, it's it's hard. It's hard because they're both showing like a grungy ship and it's dirty and it's dark. But their costumes are really bright and like clean. I, I don't, I don't want to say the costuming, but the character design and everything just feels like it's so married to the rest of the universe it, it feels like it's all part of the same thing like spike his costume and Faye her costume and jet his costume it all feels like it blends into the world really well the color palette all seems consistent but in this one i feel like there are some huge contrasts in terms of adapting that into live action where the costuming really just needs to be married to the set design a lot more where everything else feels so much dirtier than the characters themselves and also the fighting in it is it's it's all right it's choreographed and that is all i can say is it executed well mm, could be better it's a little bit slow it feels like choreography it feels like we're watching a demo reel rather than the final product of the fight if that makes any sense it, it feels like they're like okay one two okay and then i block and then and then you kick and then I, uh, and then I counter, and then I dodge. It's like, I, I feel like I can see the actors working out the choreography in their head. And that's just a little bit of a problem to me. Uh, I can't blame them though. I mean, the actors clearly did the work to do the training and everything like that. It just feels like it's not as well executed as it could be. And maybe that's just uh, in terms of how much time that they had to actually train and learn the choreography. A lot of those things can happen, so I'm not going to knock them. That's it. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, guys, that's everything I really have to say about the episode, which happened to be a lot to say. But I'm hoping as I watch more episodes that I will warm up to a lot more. I feel like it's kind of jarring to go from the anime to this and to expect it to be just as good. So, I, I like I said, low expectations. Not gonna keep my hopes up, and yeah. Uh, what did you guys think about the episode so far? Did you guys enjoy it? Please, please, like I keep begging you guys to do, leave a comment down below what you thought, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it, and also, while you're down in the comment section, please let me know if you want me to do another episode. I would love to, because I am going to watch the rest of the season, but if you guys want me to record it and do a video on it, please let me know down in the comments you know you know where it is it's down there okay i keep telling you if you guys like this channel so far and you want to see more videos like this remember to subscribe and to also hit the notification bell it's the bell that really doesn't work and it's very inconsistent but sometimes sometimes it does work anyways guys that wraps up the video i hope that you guys enjoyed it i hope that you are happy i hope that you guys are having a great day i hope that you are waking up encouraged and happy to do the things that you do and um yeah that's it guys and as always i will see you later <laughs>